It is talking, I swear to God. Listen. Oh. I don't know what the fuck this is rolling around in this water. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel five family. It's your guy Trip Five back again with another creepy TikTok compilation. Make sure you guys like the video and if you're new, subscribe so you could join the family. You know we on the road to 10k subscribers. Let's get the subs up, yo. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Not me accidentally finding the Denver airport back rooms. Like this shit just keeps going on and on. The ceilings are all so low. Like what the hell? Okay. And it keeps going. Yo, where the fuck am I? Like. Okay, this says that there's a gate right there, but there's literally nothing right here. This airport is just so fucking weird. There's 190 million Americans. Imagine if, now out of that, all of them don't have jobs, right? Let's just say 90 million working American Americans that are actually on the streets, free to move around. Let's just say out of the 90 million, 40 million say, you know what, we're not going to pay the mortgage payments and the taxes anymore. Matter of fact, we've been we've been collaborating and we're going to we've saved up for a month or two. We don't need any gas or food for a month or two. So we're not even going to go shopping. We're not going to get on public transportation. We're not going to use our cars. We're done. We're going to take two months off. You know that thing you did to us with the global pandemic when you shut everything off? Well, we're going to shut everything off now, except we won't turn it back on until you negotiate a better deal with us because you work for us. We we don't work for you. You are our servants. That's what the government is. Your servants. But you got it where they're telling you everything you can and can't do. And you're afraid of them. What if we turned off the planet collectively and said, you know what? We're done. Talk to us when you uh, send a representative that we approve of and we'll start the negotiation process on how we might turn things back on when we're ready under the right conditions suitable for us. And watch them start shaking in their pants. Watch these elites start panicking when the cash flow stops moving. I guarantee you one month of no revenue moving through this country and everybody going to request their money out of the banks will shut down everything. And then you say, you want us to turn back on? Are you going to erase all the debt mortgage payments down to zero? I want... But that takes courage. That takes unity. That takes collaboration. And that takes planning. You know, I don't agree with everything that he says, but I do agree with this. Imagine we all come together, you know, stop paying bills and, you know, force them to cooperate with us because like he said they supposed to be our servants and they supposed to be listening to us and serving us to the best of their ability but in reality they're not they are the ones that's controlling the masses and you know the masses are just following without questioning anything this is why unity is important and this is a video of a bear clearly eating salmon, right? He's clearly meant to eat this the way that he's tearing it up, right? He ain't playing no games, okay? He ain't misses, missing no inches, okay? Now, a lot of y'all like to eat raw salmon. I think I just, you know, something come out of his mouth with that fish on it. But a lot of y'all like to eat raw salmon, right? It ain't for everybody. Now, I'm going to show y'all something. This don't happen all the time, but it happens. But it just don't happen all the time. Watch this next video. Watch the whole video, okay? Hi, Mama. Hey, Do you see it? Do you, let me, let me, let me. Do you see it? Oh! Ah. Does it take one? Ah! Does it take one? Now let me ask you something, is you is, uh, is you Wayne still eating salmon? Is you going to still eat, it's not just salmon, it's just raw fish in general. Oh, it's it's the booty worms for me, y'all, uh-uh. This is real meat, no compromise, made in front of you. So you grew this chicken in these tanks behind us Yes. without ever slaughtering a chicken? You could ask me that a, a thousand times and the answer is yes, 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 we grew it right here. They're getting the oxygen. His company, Upside Foods, just received clearance from the USDA to start selling their meat, made at this production center in Emeryville, California. We'll be able to produce 50 to 75 thousand pounds of meat every year, right away.
Y'all saw me eating my Chipotle, right? So I'm eating, I seen something moving in my food, right? So I had to empty it on the plate to make sure I wasn't trapping. It's right here, y'all. Look, it's something moving. Chipotle, I need answers. Hold on, hold on. That was just a lot in those couple of videos. I seen her lettuce literally get up and start moving. Think about how much meals you eat and and you know you did you probably didn't know it was a bug inside of it. Y'all see how that guy showed the little kid the rat picture? And she had that little diabolical laugh. <laughs> Shit, I don't know if y'all wanna continue to eat that Chinese food these people literally using. What he showed in that pic. Be careful, y'all. Y'all might be eating that ratatouille meat. I knew enough not to trust the government, but I didn't think anything of McDonald's having a big M and them symbolizing the big M or Marathon gas station or M&M's candy. I didn't think that was a big deal. Why would I? As I started looking at the numerology, I understood that M is 13 and that signifies homage to the 13 bloodline Illuminati families. It's all over the place. Go on your computers and put in all the movies that start with 13, 13 warriors, 13 ghosts. It's like fucking 30 of them. Then start looking at ladder 49 nine or six days, seven nights. And the system that's always in the court system, 12 jurors, one judge, always in religion, Jesus, 12 apostles. It's all the same. It's 12 plus one. Astrology, sun, 12 signs. It's everywhere. What do you think, this is a coincidence? Y'all better wake up. They will never teach you anything to free yourself. They will never teach you anything to be healthy. They make trillions of dollars off you being sick. They make trillions of dollars out of you being mentally enslaved. Mentally enslaved. But y'all want to be clapped for because you sound smart. Negro sounding smart means you dumb. You want, you want to show me your degrees. Or I have this in bio. Okay, I got a biochemistry certification. That don't mean nothing. I've been to school. I learned that. That don't mean nothing. We around here flaunting our slavery certificates. I am a more of a slave than you. Look who signed my certificate. We gotta wake up, man. We gotta wake up, man. I love y'all, though. I know these teachings are very, very hard. I know it's something different. Y'all ain't never heard a lot of this stuff. I know. But look, all you have to do is do the deep research and look up everything I say. I'm not lying. I've never, ever, ever lied to y'all. I know the shit I say sound bizarre as hell, but the only reason why it sounds so bizarre is because you have been indoctrinated to believe so. This is programming that happened since you was in your mother's womb. She have listened and learned this bullshit. See that? This, these chemicals have molded and shaped you, your father. You come from this, this seed fertilizer, what you call sperm. This shit is embedded in the semen. And this molds and shape your personality. This molds and shape you are. And then you get out and you leave the wound. And then they stick this in your head. And then they put you in public school prison systems. And then you learn this again. So, so when you meet somebody like me. That's totally against the narrative. I sound batshit crazy. But I'm the one really telling the truth. <laughs> so I get it. That's why I'm not mad at y'all. I'm just a little frustrated. I'm just a little frustrated because it's like we are shifting. Knowledge is increasing. Knowledge and information is at your fingertips. You should have the common sense and you should know by now and you should have the spiritual discernment to know when something is right and know when something's wrong. I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> A lot of the things that he said in that video is very deep. They call anyone who thinks outside of the program and crazy. They are the ones who've done the research and bringing it to you to wake you up. Because not everybody is going to wake up at the same time. But you know, as long as you wake up, that's all that matters. This programming has been passed on through generations and generations and passed on to you. My gosh. He's talking. So I, I wasn't crazy. No.
Radio tower, to a tower. What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah. Radio tower, to a 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 <laughs> what else could it say? I don't know. I don't even know tweet, what it's tweet, saying. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. The bird is actually talking. It is talking. I swear to God. We have video. Listen. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. Is it real? <laughs> I don't know. Is, is it like a robot? Like, Because that's a pretty good moving robot. What? Why is a bird? Yeah, say something. Do you think of me? Wait. It's like saying something talk about. Look, its eyes look Ew, like it just cameras. Peed. Wait, it just peed. It just pooed. I know. <gasps> Did you snap back into it, bro? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we gotta go, guys. It's just getting oh. weird. <laughs> Careful, Willow. Okay, yeah, I was scared of him. Like, dude, get out of here. Well. You know, when I was first waking up to the truth, I remember Dick Gregory said, have you ever seen a baby pigeon? And that blew my mind. You know, a lot of people claim that these birds are drones, and you know, are watching us every day and you know they charge on these electrical wires let me know if you ever seen a bird talk like that before because i haven't y'all remember the cartoon movie incredibles when dash and the girl was in the forest and they seen that bird and it was like electronic and it had like a camera in the eye and it said intruder alert intruder alert that's what that reminds me of Every few months this video resurfaces, so I'll explain it again. This is a polychaete, also known as a bristle worm. There's over 10,000 species and you might consider some of them heinous, like the bobbit worm, named after Lorena Bobbit, who chopped off her abusive husband's manhood. They have the power to slice their prey clean in half, after burying their body that can get to 10 feet long underground, leaving only their jaws exposed. They'll drag their victims underground. There's also fireworms that have poison in their bristles, that when touched by humans can cause intense burning, nausea, and dizziness that can last a few hours. I don't know exactly which one this is, but it's best to not touch any of them. Uh, yeah, uh, so God updated the servers again last night, y'all, and uh, he gave us this new DLC. It's a yellow quill tip porcupine. Never seen one of these in my life. Can't tell by the tail. Looks like a possum. But uh, yeah, that's the update. He said God updated the service. Shit, that's what it be seeming like with these new species popping up every day. You know, I've been seeing strange insects that just, you know, just popped up out of nowhere. Where are they coming from? Like, if you know, you know. It's just art, right, Doja? Trolling for clicks. Just seems like things have been different ever since her 27th birthday. What about other artists? People say like, I'm a like devil worshiper or anything, but how's the music? Cause it'll be a motherfucker that'd be like, Uzi, get with God. And then I'll drop a song and like, damn. That is oh, like when you told your fans they're going to hell for listening to your song. Like I told y'all earlier, you motherfucker. Enter the rapture, and if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell, right with me. So let's get it. Oh, you already here? I'm so sorry, you can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times, and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still. Love I kind of get possessed by the devil when I'm performing. I like 
head banged so hard that I got concussion. Um, oh, you guys think this is only in the music industry? How do you think these actors do so well at acting? Basically, what I did was got on my knees and sort of communicated with the spirits. And when I came out, I was in charge. Powerful scene. Powerful scene. It, it was, I, I couldn't have acted that. Oh, it's real big in the film industry. I spent a day there just kind of praying <laughs> and, and, and asking, like, just guide me through this. If you can hear me, tell, like, tell me, tell me what to do. Tell me how to move. Tell me how to speak. Tell me how to behave. And I'll do whatever you say. So that, that there was some, there, there was a, a, a strange, mysterious spirituality going on around the, the making of this film. That was pretty straightforward, right? Maybe that's why Johnny Depp won't watch his own movies. I, I don't like watching myself. Mm. Yeah. Right. I prefer the experience. I mean, making the film is great. Right. The process is all fine. But then, then he's up there. Right. right. It's just method acting, right? Two voices came out of you. Do you remember this? They were simultaneous words, but they were two levels of sound. I was amazed and you said, well, sure. Sure, oh, I'm, I'm many different people. <laughs> Real funny, right? You see, it would be a coincidence or maybe just trolling if only a few artists spoke on this, channeling spirits, but it seems to be all throughout the industry. But just a theory, right? Hey, you heard what Lil Uzi said. You gotta start really listening to these celebrities because they be telling you. Some of these songs, like, put you in a trance. Frequency can affect you in ways you couldn't imagine. This is why it's important to be mindful of what you're listening to. Because you keep repeating these lyrics, you're basically cursing yourself. They don't want you to know this. What if I told you there's a hidden library that holds everything from the past, present, and future? It's called the Akashic Records. Imagine a database where every thought, action, and experience of every soul is recorded. The Akashic Records exist on a non-physical plane known as the etheric plane. And according to recent scientific research, our universe has been found to show elements of existing as a giant hologram with every bit of information encoded in the fabric of space-time. But it gets even deeper. The records hold the secrets to advanced technologies and forgotten knowledge. Could this be how the ancient Egyptians built their pyramids? As so many ancient civilizations seem to have wisdom far beyond their time. The Akashic records are said to be accessed through deep meditation, specific spiritual practices, and sometimes when dreaming. People who have accessed these records claim to have a deeper understanding of their purpose in life. The records are talked about by the ancient Egyptians, Mayans, Indians, Greeks, and the ancient Sumerians. They all speak of the concept of a universal record-keeping system. Hey, yo. Hmm? If the sun is in space, why is there light on Earth, but not in space? FBI, open up! Hey, I ever thought about that? How is it light on Earth, but not light in space? The sun and the moon is in our atmosphere. You know, there's been videos of people on a plane and the sun being below the plane, which means that the sun is in our atmosphere. And you know, why haven't we seen a real video of space yet? You know, everything looks CGI or AI created. We haven't seen a real video of how space looks. Some of these things just don't make sense in my opinion. One of the worst things that ever happened to black people is religion i know it's triggering i used to get triggered when i was a religious person and people would say stuff like that because you know i only knew what somebody told me to know and the more you learn black history the more you see how religion doesn't align with us and how it's a bunch of bullshit. especially like slavery i know people don't like to swallow that pill that's when we got indoctrinated before that everything that we believed in coincidentally became the devil and demonic and evil once we became slaves and you expect the people that hate you and don't even give you good food to eat, they gonna give you the way to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when you talk to people like this, they kind of turn into like a woman that's in a domestic violence relationship. When you point out all the bullshit that black people go through, look at how we living, look at all the shit we go through. And they, they, they sound like this. It's cause we did something wrong. They, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, your husband put his hands on you. Oh no, his, I didn't fold his clothes the way you like it. It, it was my fault. That's how black people sound. And even the evidence just in everyday life 
look at religion and all the bullshit and all the nasty ass people that's involved in this stuff and then there go more you know uh abuse victim excuses oh well it ain't it, it ain't about the people it's about god well if i'm the almighty and this is my group of people this shit should look different from the other shit but coincidentally the shit that's going on in the street going inside the religions matter of fact the worst people hang out inside of these places because they do so much bullshit that they need a way to justify their actions so long as i come in here and i believe in jesus it's cool i can keep doing my bullshit or you know what people in here don't expect no bullshit so this is the best place for me to hide at because they're gonna forgive me for one or they ain't gonna expect it but but all it teaches you is that as long as you look for something outside of yourself you're not strong enough within to create your own reality how you want it and when I was a religious person, bro, I was depressed because I'm searching for something outside of myself that don't exist. But once I realized I could manifest and create my own reality, bro, I found peace once I stopped being religious. And if you know, you know. And if you triggered, you ain't quite there yet. You just like how I was at one point in my life. Religion teaches you to outsource your power when your true power comes from within. Like he just said, why would they give you their God and their heaven if they hated us? That just don't make sense. They were literally beating the spirituality out of us and making us learn Christianity. All of these religions causes separation and confusion. They demonize the ones that empower you. Please don't get just any tattoos on your fucking body. They open portals in your aura and detriment you can cause. Certain symbols can protect you and help you to manifest. Can attract demons or angels by what you put in on your chest. If you put somebody's name on you, they energy stay with you. So make sure that they're not negative or you attract that to you. Tattoos are also blood rituals if you ain't know. You get my name, I get your name. We stuck together, that's for sure. Tattoo placement is important. It helps enhance what you want. They can empower you and make you more beautiful. Trying to stunt. Get an image of somebody, their spirit will stay around you. Get an image of a demon and that's the nigga you bound to. Some people get sigils on them, trying to do that magic. that magic It's all about intention, so huh? get shit that really matters Cause you don't wanna fuck your life up just off of a tattoo Attack. Comment in the comments yeah. with tattoos you got on you Now I just had a revelation about this video And it reminded hey, me on why I don't let people again. touch me By the way, they just jumped the car No ah! way, no way They just no jumped the way. car like that and what we just seen was energy transfer from this man to this man through them just touching each other. And let's not forget, we are electromagnetic beings and electricity can't be transferred. When you shake somebody's hand or let somebody touch you, that energy still gets transferred. Now, some people notice it can literally drain you like an energy vampire or put a spell on you through just merely touching you. I know I'm not the only person that after I let somebody touch me, I shook their hand or something like that. I started to feel weird immediately after. I had to pray and get whatever was on them off of me. Now let's read some science behind it. By engaging in physical touch, we release oxytocin, forge deep connections, reduce stress, and promote emotional regulation, whether it's with the loved one or others. Now let's think about it. You don't want to just be forging a deep connection with no anybody. Because now you connect to somebody who might have stress, anxiety, or depression, or other low vibrational demonic entities. Which is the reason why I really don't let people touch me. You ever heard what a lavender plant sounds like? Let's take a listen. Those two videos are proof that everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. Everything around us is either vibrating really slow or really fast. When things vibrate slow, it creates a solid 
And when things vibrate fast, like, like gas or oxygen, we can't see it with the physical eyes. But it's definitely around us. You know, do your research on everything that I'm saying. And you'll see that I'm not lying. What is it? What is it? I don't know what the fuck this is rolling around in this water. There ain't nothing there. But you don't see anything. It went away. Yeah. And then it just stopped. What the fuck was that? <laughs> when my firework went up in the sky, this is what I seen. Walking I karma. Said, the chosen ones are activated. You are walking karma. You. You. Right? You are walking karma. You have an anointing on you right now. Everywhere you go, if a person even thinks crazy about you, they're done. If a person even gets and uses this tool right here crazily about you, they are done. So let alone anyone trying to take from you, come in your energy, come in your area, ruin what you got going on, try to deter you from your attention, any of those gimmicks talk bad and dirt throw dirt on your name you are walking karma bro right now you are in if you are a chosen one watching this video you are in a state we're coming online right now the vibration is 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 crazy right now and you are coming in a state where nobody can't mess with you at all right now bro everyone loves you right now even the ones that hate you or i'm not even trying to use the word the h-a-t-e word but even the ones that dislike you and 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 very strongly do not do not get along with you spirit wise like they do not their demons even the ones that have demons and that demons do not like your hey he not lying some of us descended here to make a change on this planet and you know to wake people up and raise the frequency you know a lot of the chosen ones are divinely protected so be mindful on how you operate around these individuals. But you know, that's the end of the video, yo. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like the video so we can reach the algorithm and reach more people. You know we on the road to 10K subs. Let's get the subs up, yo. We out, yo. See y'all in the next video.